Hi there, Luke here with another video. For those of you unfamiliar with our channel, my husband Tyler and I make weekly travel videos where we document our experiences since moving from North America to the UK. If you watched our last video, you'll know that we had just wrapped up our time along the east coast of Spain, and specifically we visited the cities of Valencia, Alicante, Murcia, and Cartagena, whereas in this video I will be taking you a little farther to a different region of Spain of Granada. In order to reach Granada, we took a bus from Cartagena to the city itself. The bus ride to get from Cartagena to Granada was actually quite scenic as well, where you pass through a lot of cute little Spanish towns, as well as along the way you're hugging the Sierra Nevada mountain range. The following morning, we decided to go on a hike that was just outside the city of Granada, and so we took an early morning bus from the Granada city center to a smaller town outside of Granada called Monachil. From here, we started a hike along the Los Caorros mountain trail. The hike takes you through a series of trails along the upper mountainous area, Caorros Altos, and the lower gorge portion, Caorros Bajos. We absolutely loved this hike. It had a great mixture of small adventure with narrowed rock portions and suspension bridges, and the beautiful panoramic views from the upper portion was just phenomenal to experience. We also had the trail almost completely to ourselves, which if you've watched any of our previous videos, you'll know is a big deal to us, huge bonus for us, because we love to explore naturally beautiful areas, feeling like we are the only people in the world. It just is an amazing feeling. The trail circles back and finishes where we started, in the town of Monachil, where we caught the next bus back to Granada. Once we arrived back in Granada, we enjoyed a quick lunch, and then we enjoyed a stroll back to our accommodation and just relaxed the rest of the day. The following day in Granada, we started it off by visiting the Monasterio de San Jerónimo. The monastery has beautiful Renaissance-style architecture with two cloisters, each surrounding a central garden. This monastery was built in the 1500s and was the first in the world to be consecrated to the Immaculate Conception of Mary. After we were finished at the monastery, we headed to the Catedral de Granada. Like many other cathedrals in Andalusia, Granada Cathedral was built on top of the city's main mosque after the reconquest of Granada. There's a lot of really interesting history in Spain, especially in this Andalusia region, where there's a lot of fighting between the Christians and the Muslims over the years. And as a result, there have been a lot of different architectural influences that make this region of Spain quite unique for European standards. From here, we headed to the Albaycin neighborhood, which is considered the old Arab quarter, and it retains these narrow winding streets of its medieval Moorish past, and is one of the oldest centers of Muslim culture in Granada. It was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1984. We stopped here briefly for some lovely Middle Eastern style tea, and just really enjoyed this different ambiance from what we were used to in our travels so far in Spain and other parts of Europe. Along with the things that you can see in the Albaycin neighborhood itself, there are also a number of viewpoints of what is considered to be one of, if not the major attraction of Granada, and that is the Alhambra. 
The next morning, we visited this famous landmark. We had booked tickets for 8.30 in the morning, and it was well worth the visit. It was such a highlight to see this beautiful work of history and architecture. The Alhambra is a palace and fortress complex and is considered one of the most famous monuments of Islamic architecture. It is also considered one of the best preserved palaces of the ancient Islamic world. The Alhambra is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is one of Spain's most famous tourist attractions. If you do go to the Alhambra yourself, I recommend going in the morning where the temperatures are a bit cooler, as well as the walk to the Alhambra in the morning light was really quite special and nice in our opinion. The walk takes you along the beautiful Paseo de los Tristes with several nice restaurants dotted along the water. The Alhambra complex is really quite large and can take hours to visit depending on your particular travel style. We started in the Nasrid Palaces, which is the main palace complex of the Alhambra. The combination of the Moorish and the Spanish Renaissance architecture was really breathtaking. We walked around the beautiful Jardines del Paraíso, taking in the multitude of gardens and water features in every direction. Another spot that we enjoyed visiting in the Alhambra was the Alcazaba, the 13th century fortress complex with panoramic views from the main watchtower, Torre de la Vela. Lastly, we visited the Jardines del Generalife, a separate area of gardens and unique architecture. After our visit to the Alhambra, we decided to head to the Sacro Monte neighborhood of Granada, which is historically considered the neighborhood of the Grenadian Romani, who settled in Granada after the Christian conquest of the city in the year 1492. It is considered one of the prettiest neighborhoods in Granada, with its distinctive cave houses installed in whitewashed caves. All right, everyone, that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed learning more about the city of Granada and all of its charms and features. There's really a lot to see here from nature to culture to history. So it really is a phenomenal place to visit if you're in this region of Spain. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a like, a comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for future videos as we continue along our trip in Spain in the summer of 2021. If you're enjoying tagging along for the ride, stay tuned for our next video where we'll head to the city of Malaga, as well as the great fantastic walk called the Caminito del Rey. See you there. Bye!